I'm Dale Cox for 2 Egg TV. We're in the little town of Blue Springs, Alabama, and we are at Blue Springs State Park. It's part of the Alabama State Park system, and man, is this a pretty place. Take a look behind me. This spring, uh, we're here on a day in early November. It's still warm enough to swim, but no one's out swimming today. So instead, you can see the fish, and you get a really nice view down into the cave uh, from which the spring rises. This spring is a, is a beautiful spring. As you can see, they've enclosed it to use for swimming area. Uh, and that's part of the attraction uh, that brings people here to Blue Springs State Park. If you come to the state park, they've got a variety of amenities. Uh, they've got fishing ponds. You can't fish in the actual spring itself, but there are other ponds on the grounds. There are picnic areas. There are bathhouses, of course, and playgrounds for the kids. Uh, if you come here on a weekend, especially in the summer, this place would be packed with people. But on a pretty fall day like today, with the temperature in the 80s and the wind blowing a little bit, it's just us out here, and man, is it a pretty place to visit. Now, this spring has a rich history. If you've ever wondered where the water in the Choctahatchee River comes from, this is one of the main springs that feed the upper part of the Choctahatchee River. And this was an area that was rich in the prehistory of the southeastern United States. We know that Native Americans lived in this area from the times when the earliest hunters, hunters and gatherers came uh, all the way up through the Mississippian era. Uh, they would visit these springs. Uh, they probably, you know, would soak in the water much as we would do today, enjoy beautiful fresh water and fishing and such here. Um, the Creek Indians lived in this area as well. Uh, and uh, several battles were fought not far from here during the Creek War of 1836. The Battle of Hobdes Bridge on the Pea River was not too far north of us. That was in 1837. It was the last big battle between the Creeks and the Whites in what is now the state of Alabama. Uh, there were other battles below here. Uh, closer to uh, Ozark and Brundage down in that area. And uh, the final migration of the Creeks who escaped the Trail of Tears and moved from their homeland in Alabama down into originally Walton County, Florida, and then over through Washington County into Bay, Gulf, and Jackson Counties, Florida, finally to hide out in what is today the Apalachicola National Forest where they passed by this area as they came down the Choctahatchee River. So it's very rich in the, in the Native American history of Alabama. Uh, this was also a popular picnic and gathering spot uh, in the days of its early history as the first settlers came in through this area. They discovered the springs and loved them. Uh, and, and it became a, a popular place just to you know, take a day off sometimes and come for a picnic. Uh, after the uh, war between the states, or civil war as our northern friends call it, the, uh, uh, they had reunions of Confederate soldiers here. They com continued for many, many years until there were just a few of the old men left and finally there were none left to come. So a little bit of sadness, but, but all in all, a beautiful and a joyful place to visit. You can hear the water running here. They've created two pools here, and then below those pools, they pour, it pours over into a beautiful little spring run uh, that slowly winds its way down to another creek and then into the Choctahatchee River. That's, uh, that's what you see here at Blue Springs State Park in Blue Springs, Alabama. If you want to look for it, it's about halfway between uh, Abbeville on U.S. Highway 431 and uh, the town of Brundage on U.S. Highway 231. We're not far from Clio, which was the hometown of uh, Governor George C. Wallace of Alabama. At Blue Springs State Park in Blue Springs, Alabama, I'm Dale Cox for 2 Egg TV.